What's the strangest place music ever took you? You ever play in like, uh, I don't know, Ethiopia or uh, Northern Russia or uh, Tanzania or any, any, any like off the beaten trek, bizarro uh, shows you can think of? Well, one of the most interesting tours that we ever did, I guess it was about four or five years ago, uh, we did a seven date tour of Russia. Nice. And uh, we have a big fan base there. And uh, the promoter who we had done a lot of shows in the past in St. Petersburg and Moscow asked us if we wanted to do a tour and play some of the, the cities farther east in Russia, like Nizhny Novgorod and uh, places like that. And that was a really interesting tour because uh, I'd never been to Novosibirsk. And mm. uh, it's out there, man. It's way out in the Russian tundra. <laughs> and... Uh, what we found is that even though the culture is quite different from uh, what we're used to in Western culture here in the U.S., the people are the same. They love music. They love food. Everybody just wants, you know, to, to have a chance to live a decent life. And uh, the shows were absolutely incredible um, because I think a lot of the people there are starved to see uh, Western rock bands come through. It was a bit grueling. It was uh, in the winter. It was really cold. We had a, the promoter had hired a a jet to fly us around, but I think it was like a 1950s uh, <laughs> leftover from World War II or something, a little dodgy, oh, yeah. and knock on wood, we made it safely through the whole tour. But there were a couple of weird run-ins. Uh, one show, uh, I can't remember what town it was, it might have been Novosibirsk. Uh, we got there, and uh, we I think I, it was pitch dark out, the sun hadn't come up for days, and... Uh, this is like in January, or late January, early February. And we got up, and uh, I went down to the lobby like at 3 or 4 in the afternoon, and we're supposed to you know, go down to the venue around 4. And uh, we got a text from our tour manager, and he said, the venue is just being put together. There's no water or power or anything, so the show is probably not going to happen. We're like, really? Wow, that's crazy. And then we got a text half hour later, said, no, I think the show is on. You better come down right away. And we got down there, and what had happened was it was a brand new club. In fact, we were the opening night, but we didn't know that. Uh -oh. And we got there, and uh, our tour manager and, and our production manager said, We can't do a show. This, there's all these carpenters still nailing things up. They didn't have the power. You know, we couldn't even set our gear up. And the, the guy who ran the club came in and put a gun down on the table and said, Garbage is going to play the show. <laughs> and our tour manager, Robert, said, yeah, I guess we're going to play the show. Yeah. <laughs> and so he, he he threatened, you know, he, he didn't point the gun at anybody, but he put a gun on the table and said, garbage will play the show. Wow. And after the gig, which was great, it, at the last minute, they got the power on, they got the water running, and uh, we played the show. It was sold out. You know, it's probably 1,500, 2,000 people in there. And then the guy who ran the club refused to pay us. No. Yeah, I think we'd got an advance on the tour, but we were owed the back end or whatever. And, uh, you know, he just put the gun on the table and said, I'm not paying you tonight. Oh. I don't know what the excuse was for something for the bad attitude or whatever. Uh, and our promoter, Ed, who was lovely and had booked the whole tour, said, this is a big fish in a small pond. He's trying to throw his weight around. You're going to get the money. And we did eventually. But it was a, a, a pretty dodgy night. Wow. And, uh, despite all that, like I said, the show was just incredible. The, the fans went crazy when we played. And so that was really cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that promoter was probably terrified for his own life if the show didn't happen. In regard, you know, like people would riot to his, uh, his venue. Who knows? I don't know. Not to, not to uh, take the side of a, of a food lung with a gun.